Mr Speaker, it was right to offer Russia the opportunity to provide an explanation, but their response has demonstrated complete disdain for the gravity of these events. They have provided no credible explanation that, they, that could suggest they lost control of their nerve agent. Instead, they have treated the use of a military-grade nerve agent in Europe with sarcasm, contempt and defiance. So, Mr Speaker, there is no alternative conclusion other than that the Russian state was culpable for the attempted murder of Mr Skripal and his daughter and for threatening the lives of other British citizens in Salisbury, including Detective Sergeant Nick Bailey. It is essential that we now come together with our allies to defend our security, to stand up for our values and to send a clear message to those who would seek to undermine them. As I said on Monday, we have had a very simple approach to Russia, engage but beware. And I continue to believe it is not in our national interest to break off all dialogue between the United Kingdom and the Russian Federation. But in the aftermath of this appalling act against our country, this relationship cannot be the same. So we will suspend all planned high-level bilateral contacts between the United Kingdom and the Russian Federation. This includes revoking the invitation to Foreign Minister Lavrov to pay a reciprocal visit to the UK and confirming there will be no attendance by ministers or indeed members of the royal family at this summer's World Cup in Russia. The President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. The fundamental question of our time is whether the West has the will to survive. This is an historic moment from which there can be no turning back.